Ford have used the letters XR on their sports cars in Australia since the very early 90s. And what does XR stand for? Well, some enthusiasts will tell you it stands for extreme racing. Others, experimental racing or even extreme research. I tried to find out from Ford and as yet I have no definitive answer. I jumped online as you do and it was there that I discovered that although there were several quite plausible definitions to the question, all translations had the same meaning and that was a special sports enhanced model. So let's go with that. So what's my point? Well, Ford, after years, in fact decades of attaching XR to their Australian sold sports cars, cars like the XR6, the XR8, the XR2 and the XR5 are this year dropping it from their sports focus and going with the more globally identified ST, which I can definitively tell you stands for sports technology. So now we all know what we're going to get. The Ford Focus is a hot hatch, which is another term that may cause some debate with car lovers. My research tells me that the term was officially used in the 80s by manufacturers, but actual cars that have qualified for the nickname were built way back in the early 70s. Hot hatch is a nickname given to hot hatchbacks, and those that qualify are generally born from family oriented hatches, the difference being all the sport add-ons. This takes into account the sport's look, drive and handling of the hatch, which is why I would use the term with the new 2013 Ford Focus ST. John, what I want to focus on today is this brand new yes. ST Ford. Isn't it absolutely fantastic? This is the ST Focus. It's the world car of Ford, the, the sports car. It's got a two litre EcoBoost engine, so not only do you get heaps of power, you've got plenty of economy. So easy to park, still enough room inside, six speed floor shift, just absolutely fantastic. The ST looks the part, I love the new colours and I love the shape. It sits on big 18 inch alloy wheels wrapped in Goodyear Eagles, which really help it stick to the road and of course adds a touch of aggression. Plus Ford have given it daytime LED running lamps, a dual scented twin exhaust, sports suspension and finished it all off with a trapezoidal grille. On the inside you get loads of technology, something that Ford's applying to its entire range. But on the inside of the ST, you get leather Recaro seats, which hug you and tell you, go fast. Everything will be OK. Powering the ST is a two-litre GTDI four-cylinder EcoBoost engine. It's a cool way of explaining the combination of direct injection with turbocharged technology. Put simply, this helps you get more power and economy out of a small engine. It's pretty cool. You also get Ford's new electric power assisted steering. Now what that does is depending on how fast you're going, it will change the way the steering feels. So say if you're parking and you're going slow, it's light. But when you're going fast, it adds weight to the steering, therefore increasing your control and of course comfort. The ST comes with push button start, Ford's capless refuelling system, park assist, reverse camera, sat nav and Ford's very smart voice control that allows you to interact with the ST's audio system. Help. Voice settings help. And of course it comes packed with active and passive safety features, giving it a five star safety rating. And finally, the ST is only available in a silky smooth six-speed manual, which makes it a lot of fun to drive. And so it should be. After all, it is a hot hatch. To find out more, drop in and see our friends at John Hughes. Go to johnhughes.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV.